What's up everybody, it's Marco and Alex the Vaga Brothers. And right now we're exploring Alberta, Canada, ranches, rodeos, and the Calgary Stampede. Alberta is where the plains meet the Rockies, and Calgary is like a cross between Dallas and Denver, where the ranches meet the mountains. Cowboy culture is alive and well in Alberta, and since yeah. 1912, it's hosted the Calgary Stampede, a 10-day Western festival dubbed the greatest outdoor show on earth. For two California beach boys, it was literally our first rodeo. So to avoid being trampled by the stampede, we saddled up and headed to the range for cowboy crash course. Oh shit! You're breathing a little hard, buddy. Oh, that was hard. Nobody said being a cowboy was easy. All right, first things first, let's get one thing straight. We are not cowboys, we are city slickers. And before we go to the Calgary Stampede, we're gonna need to learn a couple of things about the ranching life. That's why we've come here to Sierra West Ranch, where Jim and Randy are gonna show us Cowboy 101. So we're gonna get you on some horses and show you how to ride. And then we're going to teach you how to rope. And then you're into the corral with the longhorn calves. And trust me, they can be entertaining, so. It can be pretty wiry. As you might notice, I don't often do this to myself, so it's a pretty good experience for me, learning how to brush. Yeah, hygiene. But you, Alex, with your, upkeep. with your metrosexual vanity, you should be pretty good at this. Metrosexual vanity? <laughs> we'll see who the real man is after we have our cowboy games. I guarantee you I'll kick your ass, Mark. Yep. There's one thing Alex does know how to do, it's talk a tall tale. But he is certainly no cowboy, and I'm not going to let him start acting like one. The horse is my natural partner in life, and Alex is going to find very soon that Marco is King Cowboy. <laughs> well, the time has come for the showdown at the OK Corral, mister. Since when are you talking like Matthew McConaughey? I've always kind of wanted to talk like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Who does it? Alright, anyways, so we've learned to rope, and now we're going to put it to test by actually roping a calf. Cowboys rope cattle for a number of reasons from giving them vaccinations to branding them for identification before releasing them to pasture. And as shocking as it was for us, we realized that this brief moment of discomfort allows for a lifetime of free grazing on the open range. Nobody said being a cowboy was easy. All right, so yesterday we learned the basics about cowboys. <laughs> and today, we're gonna do the real thing. That's right, we're about to saddle up and herd some cattle. You ready? I think about ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Boom. All right, well, mission accomplished. We split the herd, the heifers are over here and the rest of the guys are over there and that was awesome. So the next step is the bar view historical ranch where we're gonna learn a little bit of history about the Sundance Kid. We headed north on Highway 22, known as the Cowboy Trail, to Bar U Ranch, which was one of the biggest ranches in Canada, with over 30,000 head of cattle and a ranch hand soon to be known as the Sundance Kid. Bar U was instrumental in settling the West, building an empire that exported beef to England and allowed its owner, George Lane, to help finance the first Calgary Stampede in 1912. So, armed with a bit more perspective, we made our way to Calgary. Well, over the last few days, we've explored Alberta's cowboy trail and we've learned a little bit of how to be a cowboy. We've done all we can to prepare. At this point, it's all about looking the part if we can't really be cowboys. So we're at Lamley's. We're gonna get outfitted. It's uh, got it's like a cowboy haberdashery. You can get some new clothes. Hats, boots, belt buckles. If we can't be cowboys, at least we can fake it. Courtney here has told me everything I know about style is wrong. She's gonna help me look like a halfway presentable cowboy, thank you. This is so far from my normal routine of board shorts and sandals. Here you go bro, got your hat. Oh no, but I do think I found my shirt. And your pants. My pants, I got the buckle, look at this. Calgary Stampede. Properly suited and booted, it was time to hit the Stampede. The Stampede is the biggest event of the year. 
10 days of Broncos, babes, and beers that draws one million people annually. And they come for a reason. Okay, so they say the way to spot a fake cowboy is because he doesn't have shit on his boots. So we're gonna get our boots dirty before we go in the stampede. The major attraction is the Daily Rodeo, where cowboys compete in sports that originated from daily work on the ranch, from breaking broncos to roping cattle and racing home after a hard day's work. Well, we've spent the last couple of hours roaming around and soaking up the stampede, checking out some of the events from the front row. But now it's time to get behind the scenes of the rodeo, so we're gonna go back and talk to a professional bull rider, Scott Schiffner. He's gonna tell us what bull riding is all about. A lot of the competitions here are based on ranching and like the, the everyday work of cowboys, right? But riding the bull, what's that about? That's that's about the only one that isn't about day-to-day -day life on a ranch. Uh, basically, the bull riding come down to a bunch of ranch cowboys, you know, years and years ago, seen a bull in the field and decided, I bet you you can't ride that thing, and they took the bet back and forth, and one of them got on it, and away they went, and there come bull riding. It's the adrenaline event of, of the actual working cowboy. Scott had a really wild ride, and just watching those pros ride the bulls was pretty impressive. But now we're gonna take it to the next level, try it out for ourselves. We're heading over to Triple B Bar, where we're gonna hop on a mechanical bull. Loser buys the first round. Just gotta want it more than the other guy. Alex, I want it more than you. Fucking good. Way better than I thought you would. Pressure's on. On the final day, we witnessed one of the most iconic events in the Stampede, the Chuck Wagon Race. To get a better sense of the sport, we headed to the stables to meet driver Rick Fraser. You don't think about your competitors, you concentrate on your horses, especially your lead team. You don't hear the crowd, you don't hear the announcer. If you put your outfit together and it all of a sudden just clicks like a good, I don't know, good offensive line, when they come out of the blocks, they just haul ass. They're our buddies. We give it, we buy them, we give them second home. This guy has cancer, you can't do nothing with him. He's not no good for a racehorse, but he's a hell of a check wagon horse and will be for a long time. So now it's time for the chuck wagon races, which is like NASCAR with four horses. You have to 70 kilometers per hour. But first, a little bit of brisket. has turned into night, and it's time to learn how to learn it. The only problem with this is that Alex has recently alerted me that I actually look like Woody from Toy Story. Pretty much verbatim, you're on, bro. But I think that Alex's dance moves are more like a wooden toy than mine. I think I'm going to be able to show him how, how it's done. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. So we're going to go to Nashville North, which is like this music tent here at the Stampede. There should be some singing, some dancing. Hopefully some hot cowgirls. We are taking a video. Say hi. hi. Oh look, we just found a hot cowgirl. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video about Alberta's ranch culture and the Calgary Stampede. Big thanks to Travel Alberta for making the whole video possible. If you want more information about the places that we visited, check out the links in the info box below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vaga Brothers for new travel videos every Tuesday. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Still watching? Don't worry, there's more Vaga Brothers to come. Check out the video on the left. That's about Prince Albert National Park in Saskatchewan, Canada, some beautiful nature. Or on the right, there's a video about Ottawa, Canada's cool capital. It's about the trendy food and drink scene that's sprung up in the city. 
If you want more videos every week, make sure you click subscribe and find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that jazz at Vaga Brothers. Okay, guys, see you next week.